Good afternoon everyone, it's David Pham here, aka Bagitti Fat Fat. Today I'm coming to you guys from the city of brotherly love. I'm in Chinatown in Philadelphia. And I heard about this restaurant that serves Japanese A5 Wagyu on sushi. Let's go give it a try and check it out. Let's eat. Guys, guys, I found it. It's called Chubby Cattle. It serves Wagyu straight from Japan. Can't wait to give it a try. All right guys, all right. So we're inside of Chubby Cattle now, and I just ordered A5 Japanese Wagyu Nigiri. One regular with Nigiri only, one topped with uni, and another one topped with foie gras. Like what? Come on. And they brought out this this uh this tray of condiments like woo! I don't, I don't really know what's on there, but we're about to check it out. Look like some scallions, some ginger, some uh, I don't know, hoisin sauce, some other sauce, I'm not really sure. Oh, we know what that one is, chilies. Some uh, parsley, cilantro. Don't really know what that is, guys. It looks like puff rice. Oh, dried chilies. So the tray they brought us out, it's pretty cool, guys. Check that out, check that out. Oh. So we're gonna give a little taste of all these condiments real quick, all right? Is that all right with you guys? Let's see. Chilies. Oh, this is uh, some parsley. This looks like I don't know what this kind of sauce is. Oh, it's soft. Oh, check this out. Let me give it a little quick stir. Oh, it smells garlicky. Oh, I don't really know. Check that out. Check that out. This looks like a maybe a hoisin sauce, guys. Oh, oh, maybe a barbecue. No, I lied. Maybe an oyster sauce. Check that out, check that out. Lastly, some garlic, guys, some garlic. Check that out, check that out. God, there's this, guys. Oh, oh, it's soft. Maybe it's cheese. What y'all think? Oh, I don't really know, but I'll give it a taste. Put that right there. All right, guys, so now my plate has been built of all these, like, extra toppings. I'm gonna give it all a taste. We got all these sauces. Check it out, check it out. Kinda cool, kinda cool. Let's build a colorful plate. Let's taste it one at a time. Let's taste, let's taste the soft stuff first. Oh, I lied. I know what it is. That's just a crushed peanut. <laughs> crushed roasted peanuts, that's all it is. Let's taste these uh, dry chilies. Check that out, guys. Oh, that's pretty good. Tastes like dried chilies and shrimp and all. Let's chase these chilies. Oh, this, this looks like it's gonna hurt, guys. These chilies look like it's hurting. <laughs> what did I do to my... Oh. Wow, that bad boy is spicy, guys. Oh, I think I can breathe fire right now. Check that out again, guys. Wow, that bad boy right there is on fire. Oh, maybe this is garlic. Maybe it'll help. Oh, that's definitely fresh garlic. We don't know what these are, scallions. And uh, I don't know what this sauce is, but let's mix it together. I don't really know what that is. Check it out again, guys. It's like soft, silky. Doesn't have really much flavor. I'm not sure, I'm not quite sure. 
I don't know. It's just like a light shrimp paste. And uh, I got one more sauce. Check that out. Tastes like an oyster sauce. Hey, let's see what my nigiri's got to taste like. That's what we came here for, right? Let's eat. Guys, guys, he just brought out my uni. And what is this? What Wagyu else? uni nigiri. Wagyu uni nigiri, guys. Let's check it out. Wow. wow. <laughs> the smoke right here is from Applewood, just to give it a little bit of flavor, All right? The waiter just told me this is Applewood smoked Wagyu nigiri with top with uni. Check that out. Wow, look at the color. Look at the marbling. Oh, my mouth is watering, guys. I can't, I can't. Can you guys see that? Check that color out. Wowzers. Guys, what is this one? Wagyu nigiri smoked with Applewood. My Wagyu nigiri just came out. Check this out, guys. Wow, check that out. Japanese A5 Wagyu, all that. Oh my God, guys, look at that marbling. Can you, this is about to melt my mouth. My mouth is salivating. Oh, wow, look at that beauty. Woo! All right, guys, it's on, it's time. It's time to do this, it's time to taste the A5 Wagyu with the uni topped. Let's eat. Wow, guys, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch the tiger by the toe. Hello, it's you. <laughs> oh, check out the beautiful, the complexion, the uni, horribly. Wow. Guys, check that out. Like, how can you not be salivating? Look at that. Look at the marble, the tenderness inside of this. Oh, check that, check that. Wow, wow. We have to take a moment of silence so, so I can savor those flavors how tender this beef that just melted in my mouth mixed with the uni, the sweetness from the sea urchin. Compliments, oh my God. Wow, wow, I must do another bite, guys. Check that out again, guys, check that out. Wowzers. <laughs> but this time, I'm gonna give it a little ponzu sauce dipping, all right, guys? Let me give it a little, let me check, let me give it a little dip for y'all. Just a little bit. You don't want to over mash the flavors. Check that out, check that out. Oh my God. It's like having an orgasm in your mouth. Guys, the flavors are so mind blowing. The beef is melting your mouth. You only watch me chew because I wanted to macerate it all together and mush it. Woo! I gotta go on to the next bite, guys. The A5 Wagyu plain without any extra toppings. All right, guys. I'm ready for the regular plain A5 nigiri. Wow! You all ready for this? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. So, with this one, I'm going to have it with some uh, regular soy sauce instead of just instead of the ponzu. Wow, so we're gonna dip this in here. Just a little soy, just a little bit. So we can taste the full flavor and the richness, the marbling of this A5 Wagyu. Oh boy. Guys, this is a one biter, all right? None of that, let me bite it in half type things. Check it out, guys. One biter, all right, one bite. This one's even better than the uni one. Let me tell you why. The uni was delectable. Adds a sweetness, adds a creaminess to the A5 
Wagyu, but this one without the uni, you guys wanna know why? Let me tell you why, all right? Very simple, because it doesn't have the, the complexity of the uni, so all you're tasting is the straight Wagyu that has been smoked by the apple wood that they added on there. Oh, wowzers, wow. Let me get another bite, let me get another bite. Check that out, guys. Oh, look how beautiful this is. Oh, wow. Check that out, check that out. Mmm. Guys, I just brought out the one topped with foie gras. Wow, look at that, guys. Oh my God, look at that. Can you guys see it? Nigiri, smoked, seared. And then topped with a foie gras. Oh, foie gras, if you didn't know, is goose liver or duck liver, just so y'all know, right? Wow, check that out. When you eat, when you dine with McGiddy fat, fat, it's like that, guys. Can we get a picture? Wow, it's still smoking. It's that time. We're about to taste the foie gras nigiri with the A5 Japanese Wagyu, let's eat. All right, I'm gonna do this piece without any extra seasoning, any soy sauce, no extras, all right? I'm gonna taste the full flavors. Check that out, check that out. Oh my God, can you guys see that? Top of foie gras. Oh my God. I gotta take a moment, let that flavor linger in my mouth a little bit. It's like eating steak. Top with foie gras. But it just melts in your mouth. Literally, just everything just melts. Oh. One more bite, guys, one more bite. Check that out, check that out. This, this foie gras, this white wagyu. Oh. Mm. Wow. Wow, we're giving that a McGiddy fat fat double thumbs up today, guys. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow, all right, wow. I, that's all I got to say, I just can't say anything. So the foie gras just melts in your mouth, compliments the smoky nigiri that they partially seared on this Wagyu, and, and put, tops it on the rice, and it all just melts in your mouth. Creaminess, flavor. Mind blowing how good these flavors hit your tongue. Woo! Wow. Wow, guys. Wow, that's all I got to say. Just wow. Simply wow. Woo! Wowzers. So, I just left and walked outside of Chubby Cattle in Chinatown of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Whoa! Let me explain to you guys. Woo! The first bite I had was topped with uni. I thought it was phenomenal, the creaminess, the sweetness, like it just melts and like combines everything and then the nigiri bite. And then I tasted the second one, the nigiri, where they smoked it with apple wood. And you can taste the fine smoke flavor that they put in there, the fine touches that they added to make sure that nigiri was perfectly uh, ready for, with that A5 Wagyu. And that last one, I'm glad they brought that, that one out last, topped with uh, A5 Wagyu topped with foie gras. Ooh, that seared foie gras was so good combined with the seared A5 Wagyu nigiri. Oh, oh my God. Woo! I'm telling you guys, that's one of the best sushi bites I've ever had in my life, and I cannot lie. And so I'm currently standing in Chinatown of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania at a place called Chubby Cattle, guys, and it's that good. Oh. Guys, if you guys enjoyed that video, please come here to Chubby Cattle. Drop a comment. Let me know what you guys think after you guys tried it. And lastly, don't forget to hit that bell notification icon up here to, to, uh, to see what my next video is. Thanks, guys.